Hello everyone, welcome again. And today in this demo, I'm going to show you demonstration of another Java project that is in building JSPN servlet. And the project name is College Attendance Management System. You can say Attendance Management System for this today. Right? So for the database, we are using here. I'm going to go so to use. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, into the database, we are using MySQL, MySQL Workbench 8.0. And here we have a database that contains tables uh, like assigned faculties, attendance, course, role, student, subject, and user. Okay, if we talk about the users, there are two types of users into the application. The first is admin, and second is the student. And if I talk about the technology, uh, so using JSP, servlet, HTML, uh, CSS, Bootstrap. And to manage the controller side, it's using servlets uh, and following MBC architecture. So beans are there, controllers, exception models, and utility classes are there. And it's Maven project, so managing the dependencies over the form.xml. And another resources we have a system.configuration file that's going to configuration that's going to help us to provide the configuration. Okay, now if you want to buy this project or you want to take this source code, just check the link in the description box. You can directly buy it from there. Also, you can connect us by WhatsApp or Skype or mail. So we will provide you the complete source code as well as uh, like um, uh, explanation also on as well as the remote configuration. Remote configuration means our team member will connect with you and do the complete setup at your machine. In case uh, you need explanation, you can take that as well. Also, they will set up the project in this state and after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application. So first step, how can you run the application? Open your Eclipse and MySQL and then right click on the root folder of the application. Go to run is run on server. Select the server as a Tomcat 8.5. Click on finish and all this configuration will be done by us. And after that, you need to follow these steps in order to run the application at your own. So when I do this, what I can see a, 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 a simple page now which says welcome to college attendance management system. Here we have a login page. So what we are keeping it very simple. Uh, you can add the background images over there or if you want us to add, we will add that that's not an issue. So every student have a different requirement. That's why we keep it uh, a simple so you can add background according to a requirement. Okay, so here we have a sign in option and uh, the home page so under the sign in option there are lots of functionalities i'm going to show you in a while so uh the very first let's log in as an admin so where you will find the username password for the admin so just right click on the user table select the first option you will see the login id here into the login column and the password here into the password column okay and when you enter this it will check it's in correct format click on sign in so what a admin can do over there, so admin can add a new faculty, admin can view the list of faculties. So let's say I'm going to add a new faculty. So I say new faculty, this name for a demonstration. And I'm going to give a email as a new faculty. Faculties at the gmail.com. Password will be in a combination like how can you so i'm going to enter here as a demo at the rate one to three quickly again exit that demo at the rate one to three select the gender date of birth so how can you select the old date so i'm going to change the calendar as a 23 after that we can move to the rate one to three and you can select your year here i'm just entering demi data that Contact number should be a valid 10 digit number. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When I hit the save button, it says data is saved successfully. It means we have a new record as a faculty. So if I go here and I refresh my user table, you can say we have a new faculty over there. Okay, added by the admin. Um, okay, that's fine. So we have two users, one admin and second is a faculty, not a student. Okay. Now what we can what what admin can do here into this faculty list 
Oh, this is the faculty list, the demo. Uh, it's, 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 it's showing subject list. Let me update it quickly. Oh, it's showing subject list. It should be a faculty list, correct? There's a bug. Okay, let me quickly look into the file where it is. Subject list, subject view, semester. Yeah, it should come as here as a faculty list. That's fine now. Okay, so it's going now a faculty list over there. And what admin can do when I go here and I can search it by first name. So if I just enter the first name over here and click on the search DW filter, I can reset it. I can search a uh, faculty by its login ID. So when I enter the login ID in the search, it will filter the data. You can reset. Also, we have rights to admin have a rights to delete it. So in case of delete, just click on it. Hit the delete button, it will delete the data. I can edit the data from here if required. Let's say I'm going to enter it and save. I need to enter the password while adding demo at the return to key. I just said the password it says data edit successfully. Now you can see the extra it over there. <clears throat> All right, under the student section, we can add a new student. Let's say this is a faculty and this faculty going to add a student. So we have multiple courses. So let's say I'm going to add a student in this course or first create a course, then we'll add a faculty yesterday. So I say BCA, enter description. This is a computer course, computer course. I just save it and I'll click on the course list. This will be displayed here. I can again delete it, I can edit it. I can search it by name or uh, like BCA. When I enter the name, I the search, it will filter out the data for me. And now let's add a student in this BCA course. So I just add a BCA uh, course name. And let's say there will be a semester. So I say just add a first semester and enter the student name. Let's say I'm going to say Dave or Dave Patel. Okay, let's say I'm going to say Dave at the rate gmail.com. Gender is a male. And date of birth, let's say I'm gonna enter this date of birth, phone number. Then this is valid phone number, father's email ID. So okay. So I'm gonna say they web. My father's mobile number. So I'm gonna just keep it the same until the next digit. Okay, that's fine. Click on the save. That is saved successfully again. When I go to the student list. I can see in the first semester, uh, we have when roll number is four and the Dave is uh, registered as a student. And we can search a student by first name, last name, and an email. And we can also edit, delete these records for the student. And here, the important topic uh, assign a faculty and admin can do that. So, okay, one more module is there add subject. So, into the add subject, what we can do. Let's say we have a BC as a new course and into the BCA course in the first semester, I'm going to add some subject. So let's say operating system and a subject called let's say one, two, three, four, eight, nine. And basics, basics of operating system. Click on the save. The subject is here added into the BCA. OS and this is a code and all the retail. Again, into the subject list, we can perform the search, edit, delete operation. That's common uh, common features. And when I click on the add faculty, uh, it's not an add faculty, add assign faculty. Like how can I assign a faculty for a, a subject? So let's say we have a new faculty here that we have added. And here the subject name and I have added the operating system and total class, how many class need to do in a month? Let's say 20 class. And I click on the save. So I have assigned one faculty also. So we have the course, we have a subject, 
and we have a student and now we have assigned the faculty to that course on the semester i can see the faculty list like assigned faculty list uh, like uh, which faculty is going to attain that class something so we have a search option is the subject first name faculty name and the edit and the delete all the options are there so you can operate it like that and my profile option change password and log out for that now let's quickly log in as an admin as a faculty and how admin can fill the faculty so we have recently added this faculty and this faculty also assigned a subject and a course so and if one student is also there so let's see what this faculty can do so here into the student list i can add a new student if required i can check the list of the students so all the students are there but bca is the most uh, like like we have recently added and here under the attendance list what we can do also this uh, faculty have access to edit update delete the student list and they can search and um, uh, filter out the data according to the requirement under the add attendance what student like, like this faculty only assign this subject that's why it's showing on the operating system so i select operating system uh, for the attendance this is the most important and key factor of the application where we are going to add faculty is going to add the attendance so let's say i select for the today's date and i click on the submit and you can see the mark attendance option is available over here so there is only one uh, student for this uh, subject this is a dev patel so i can mark it a present or absent from here let's say i just mark it a present and click on the save now if i go here and i check the attendance list you will see there are lots of records so i i i, I was using the record this uh, for testing so that's the bulk in a record so you can say the absent will will display in the red mark a red color and it will green and it will display in gray color but if you see there is only 10 record and recently we have uh, a mark up absent like a present for the dev 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 patel but it's not showing here so what you need to do just click on this next icon it will display if there will be a, like one page will display only 10 records after that you need to click on the next next then it will display the record so if you see at the it number of 34 we are showing as a present okay so in this way like uh, it can uh, like uh, faculty can uh, add attendance and check the attendance and then the semester attendance i can check the bca first semester so here we have an option to semester attendance so i can check the semester attendance for the bca let's say for the first semester i click on the submit it will display like this okay so so total percentage uh, operating system like you know we have taken the one and all the details my profile change password and log out so that's all about for the admin side uh, it's complete attendance management project in just being served so if you really need this if you want to learn this kind of development you can join code one team and we will help you obviously the things will be paid because it's take lots of efforts to develop this kind of application and provide the end-to-end -end support to the students to uh, like uh, do the setup at your machine like we are not going to just giving you the source code we are we are helping you to run the source code at your machine we are providing the complete support until the project will not run perfectly at your machine thank you if you really want to do this just, just, just join us thank you